Hi, my name is Angel. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. And today I want to tell you guys about four unpopular books that I think you should read. These are all books that I really, really enjoy and think can be enjoyed by a lot of people. So I just want to share that with you guys. I was going to wait until I had a bit longer of a list, but I'm tired of waiting. I want to film this video and hopefully introduce you guys to some new favorites. So the first book that I'm going to talk about today is Walking Practice by Dolky Min. This is by a Korean horror author and it's basically about a alien who crash lands on earth and must try to conform and fit in as a human. This one was very interesting with the way that it was written and we're following this alien and it just definitely has like a lot of commentary about being a human and what that means and conforming and fitting into a society but it's also horror so it's got a lot of gore and gross elements to it and I just thought it was a really fun book there is fantastic illustrations throughout the book and the cover art also is absolutely gorgeous I think I've mentioned this one before so I would definitely recommend this if you like gory horror and you like horror that has like a sort of commentary element to it and kind of makes you think about society and just being a person. The next book is What We Fed to the Manticore. This one is another beautiful cover. This is a collection of short stories and they're all told from the point of view of animals. I did not give a single story in this collection less than four stars. I thought they were all great. They're very powerful. Some of them are heartbreaking and emotional as we're reading, you know, from these animals' point of view. But it was also really nice because each animal is written so distinctly different that it's, like, the narration style is different, so it's very easy to see that, I don't know, they just feel all totally different and separate from each other. And I just enjoyed every single story. I might have to reread this one, honestly. I still have not bought my own physical copy, I need to do that, but I would definitely recommend it. I don't see really anybody talk about this book, but I thought it was really good. The next one I have is Help Meet. This is a very short little horror story about a man who has a mysterious disease and his wife that is taking care of him. This kind of has like a gothic atmosphere to it because they're in this like big house and it's the year 1900 I think and there is a lot of body horror in this with this guy's disease just the way that it affects his body it is gruesome and gross at times but fascinating as well it also gets very weird at the end but like perfectly weird that I loved it so if you are a fan of body horror and just like really weird like fantastical horror I think you would really really enjoy this one and it is a very short book like the author packs in so much descriptions and just he just packs in so much to this book that it feels like it should be longer but it's not I don't know I'm just like how did he put all of that story and all that information into less than 100 pages. This one is one that I still think about and still really, really enjoy. So I would highly, highly recommend this to, like I said, anybody who's a fan of body horror and weird horror and just kind of the gothic type of feel. And the last one I have, if that sounds interesting to you, this one might sound interesting as well. This is The Har which is another weird type of fantastical horror. So basically, we're following this elderly woman who lives in this fishing village, I think they're in Scotland, and some billionaires are trying to buy all the land so that they can build a golf course there. So they're kicking out all the residents, but this woman will not back down. She absolutely refuses to leave, and then she finds help in a mysterious creature. So, yeah, if you like creatures and weird horror and, like, strange horror surrounded by real-life horror or real-life injustices happening, because obviously that is what's happening in this story, I think you'll really, really enjoy this. Also, if you really like fun and powerful characters, our main character definitely is that. I absolutely loved reading this book because of her. And those are 
four criminally underrated books that I think that you should read. So please let me know if you've read any of these. Let me know if you plan to read any of these. I'm going to be looking for everybody's review now. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you next time.